Hello everyone, it's Truth Paradigm One here. Apparently, Stephen Sotloff, who was another one of the American journalists captured by ISIS or ISIL uh, in Syria, has been beheaded, much in the same fashion as James Foley was. Perhaps they want us to think it was the same day and the same beheader, though he does appear to have a thicker British accent than before. So this is what I was able to find. Again, it's the video. It's done in much the same way as the other one with pretty slick editing and a personal message from the person who apparently is about to be beheaded to the American government and Obama. The whole, basically the, the same spiel as before. So here's a little bit of it. The United States of America will continue to do what we must do to protect our people. We will be vigilant and we will be relentless. When people harm Americans anywhere, we do what's necessary to see that justice is done. And we act against ISIL, standing alongside others. I am Stephen Joel Sotloff. I'm sure you know exactly who I am by now and why I am appearing before you. And now it is time for my message. Obama, your foreign policy of intervention in Iraq was supposed to be for the preservation of American lives and interests. So why is it that I'm having to pay the price of your interference with my life? Am I not an American citizen? You've spent billions of U.S. taxpayers' dollars, and we've lost thousands of our troops in our previous fighting against the Islamic State. So where's the American people's interests in reigniting this war? From what little I know about foreign policy, I remember a time when you could not win an election without promising to bring our troops back home from Iraq and from Afghanistan and to close down Guantanamo. Here you are now, Obama, nearing the end of your term, and having achieved none of the above, and is seemingly marching us, the American people, into a blazing fire. I'm back, Obama, and I'm back because of your arrogant foreign policy towards the Islamic State, because of your insistence in continuing your bombings in our Middle East and Mar and the Mosul Dam, despite our serious warnings. You, Obama, have yet again, through your actions, killed yet another American citizen. So just as your missiles continue to strike our people, our knife will continue to strike the necks of your people. We take this opportunity to warn those governments who have entered this evil alliance of America against the Islamic State to back off and leave our people alone. From watching that, there are a few things I noticed, one of them being that there was absolutely no movement, no flinching, no jerking reaction whatsoever when the apparent knife started sawing off Sotloff's neck, as they want us to believe. I have seen beheadings before. There is going to be some sort of reaction. Think about if you accidentally touch your finger to a hot stove or you cut yourself. There is basically a whole body reaction, a jumping, a jerking, and you can see none of that in this video. Another thing I noticed was that at the end, and this will take somebody who's really good with sort of audio, that's definitely not me, but at the end there is somebody who's off camera, and to me it sounds like he says good, good, in English. Now, if that is the case, that would be uh, very telling. Uh, and again, it's not like normal ISIS videos where typically they have the big ISIS flag. There's no Allah Akbar said. Um, there's typically a ton of them all around. And yet again, they didn't show the most gruesome part. So for a group of terrorists, they're really not doing all that great a job of terrorizing people, considering that's what the terrorists want to show is the most gruesome part. Not the before and the after, but the during.
because that is what truly instills the most terror in the people. This is just my e initial opinions on what I thought about the video. Please feel free to leave your own comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe and have a great day.